there is no better time than right now to start your sculpting journey. So it's almost 2023 and there are a ton of options for sculpting. So starting with the most accessible, ZBrush Core Mini. Now hold on, before you have an aneurysm, let me explain. So I know that this came before Blender on the list, but that's just because it is so darn easy to use. I know some people out there, well, Blender's not that hard to use. Compared to ZBrush Core Mini, it is. So it's super, super easy to use. It's very intuitive and it's really just hard to screw things up. So for children, for brand new sculptors, people who've never touched 3D software before, ZBrush Core Mini is a great way. Get your feet wet. It's amazing. So the pros for ZBrush Core Mini, obviously it's free. It is super, super easy to use. Performance, really, really solid. It's amazing. It's got a really great feel. It feels better than Blender. Lots of cons on this one. ZBrush Core Mini is very limited. So there's no masking. You cannot add other objects and that's a deal breaker. But for somebody who is new to sculpting, this is a great option. The next option for sculpting, in my opinion, would be Blender. Blender, of course you've heard of it. It's free, it's amazing. And sculpting, it's really, really great. So if you ever get tired of sculpting and you've started learning Blender, Blender can literally do it all. Compositing, check. Rendering, animation, retopology, you name it, you can do it in Blender. So some of the pros, it is free. It has solid sculpting tools. It can literally do everything else that you could ever want. And there are tons and tons of resources and tutorials out there, both paid and free. So some of the cons of Blender are sculpting performance. As soon as you get to those higher polygon counts, it simply cannot compete with ZBrush. Another con would be that for sculpting, some paid add-ons help significantly, like quad remesher. A con for Blender would be that for somebody who's brand new to 3D software, it's easy to get lost. You click the wrong thing, you go into a different mode, and then you've got to figure that out. So there is a learning curve to something like this. And sculpting really hasn't been updated in a while. Next on the list is called Sculpt GL. Now this one's interesting because there's no download required. You can literally just go out to the website, start sculpting, have a good time with it. Pros, it is free, it is browser based, so no download required, which is pretty cool. And some cons is that it's no longer supported. So any bugs that are there, which there are many, they just simply won't get fixed because they're not supporting it anymore. The interface is not intuitive and saving and exporting is a pain. Next up is Nomad. So this is actually brought to you by the same person who made Sculpt GL. This is the best sculpting solution for iPads, just hands down. This is the best sculpting solution for tablets. So it's a $15 one-time purchase. So it's very inexpensive, but it is not free. Pros, you can sculpt anywhere. It's on an iPad, iOS, or Android. I don't need a computer. I don't need a monitor. I don't need a Wacom tablet. I'm good to go. I could sculpt on the bus if I wanted. Solid sculpting tools. Nomad also has texturing, rendering, and retopology. So do your homework because I have never actually used the software. I've seen it in action online. I've seen it in action in person, but do your homework. So ZBrush is the industry standard. It is the sculpt thinking, film, video games, movies, TV, hobbies, 3D printing, whatever, it is the king of sculpting. Has dozens and dozens of tools. If you can think it, you can do it. It is the best performance, period, on any sculpting software out there. And some of the cons, the price, price tag, you know, it's almost $900, so that's a lot of money. Another con is that there are many ancient features that are just kind of still there. There is a steep learning curve, so far steeper than Blender, but that's because it's made by aliens, so there you go. So another con is that it falls under the Maxon umbrella and we haven't seen a real update in about a year. So if you're interested in purchasing ZBrush, watch this video first.